Well, good morning everyone and welcome to this week's video. I've got a huge smile on my face because I basically drove five hours through the middle of the night, leaving the house at half past two in the morning to arrive here on the Isle of Skye. So I'm breaking myself in gently with a eight minute hike to one of the most famous places on the Isle of Skye and that's the Fairy Glen. Not the Fairy Pools, the Fairy Glen. Now the purpose of this video is twofold. My main aim is to make a video called 48 Hours on Skye because guess what? I'm here for 48 hours. But this video is going to be about the behind the scenes, where I went, what I shot and how I got the shots. So, excuse me while I try and climb up this hill. I'm so out of breath and I'm so out of shape. As my mother-in-law told me last week because of the video. Did you see how big my belly was? So just for reference, it's the 10th of November. It's nearly winter, autumn is dying. But the best thing about that is, there is nobody here, apart from them fairies. Not that I'm going to cement anyone's reputation and how tight Scotsmen are, but I reckon there's about £7.20 in change in the middle of that fairy ring, and that's a fish supper. Now, I'm no expert, but if that doesn't look like fairy eggs to me, I don't know what does. So we leave the Fairy Glen behind us and we take the magnificent drive up to the northwest of the island to try and reach Neast Point. The weather looks as if it's playing ball and a sunset could be on the cards, but the drive is nothing short of spectacular. This is a very special location. The sun is about to go down. The weather's looking okay. I just had the drone up a couple of minutes ago, but the rain made me bring it back in. And as soon as I landed it, the rain went off. We are now at Neast Point, which is one of the most farthery west points on the Isle of Skye. And you know what that means? It means that there's a lighthouse out there. But the landscapes are so, so incredible. It feels like I'm in a scene from Jurassic Park and uh, the cliffs, the darkness of the cliffs, Cliffs. There's a lot of photographers up here because this is definitely a honeypot location, but I don't care. I'm going to go and see if I can get at least one shot of the lighthouse because the conditions, there are clouds blowing in this way, but the sun is out at the moment and I'm going to cut this short or I'm going to fall in a bog.
here are all the said photographers. And it's quite the location. Very close to that cliff and it's very windy. I might not be so brave. So this is the angle that I'm going to go for. It's still very windy. And you can see over here, hopefully, where the beautiful sunshine is. There is dark cloud coming in. And that might just push in before that hits the horizon. If that's the case, then what I'm hoping for, which is warm light on the side of that cliff, might not happen. But you never know. So with my bunkhouse in the rear view mirror, I make the meandering drive over the top of the island and move from the west to the east. I leave the village of Uig and drive towards Staffan. Now if I'd left this drive much later in the year, it might not have been passable because this gets closed very quickly when the snow comes. And as you know, the forecast for snow is this week. So I think I've timed it just perfectly and I make my way towards the Quran. My aim here is to try and catch a golden sunrise and have that light bathing on the side of the mountains. I managed to get my drone up, as you can see from the footage, and it is nothing short of spectacular and breathtaking. It really does feel like you're taken back to prehistoric times. But as I'm scouting about trying to look for my composition, I realise that the sun isn't really breaking through the clouds, and it looks a little bit flat and dull, as you can see from the drone footage. But that, my friends, is where perseverance pays off. With every passing moment, the light seems to get a little bit brighter and the lenticular clouds above the mountains are nothing short of mesmerising. So I set my tripod up, I settle on my final composition and although I only got one shot from the location, I'm truly proud of it. And it just goes to show that as long as you've got a little bit of patience, it will definitely pay off in the end. Anyway, here's the shot.
So I'm back in the car. I've got about an hour's drive ahead of me and we're going down the west coast of the island. And our eventual destination tonight is Talisker Bay. Now the sun's starting to come through the clouds a little bit. It's been very overcast and dull all day, but I'm hopeful that we get a little bit of luck, a little bit of light, and where we're going is as good as they say it is. Now Talisker Bay has a beach, which I'm led to believe is covered in smooth round rocks, and there are sea stacks out. And if I'm right, the sun should be setting somewhere down behind that. So if we get some good light, we should get some great photographs, and the drone footage should be none too shabby either. For those of you that are fond of a dram or two, you might have heard the word Talisker before. Talisker is a single malt whiskey that's made on the Isle of Skye, and the distillery is right down where we're going. Anyway, sit back and relax and enjoy the scenery. I'll drive. was really starting to set very quickly and the hike was much longer than I thought it was going to be so by the time I got to the beach I didn't have much time to set up my Osmo pocket to try and record and talk about what I was going to do it was literally a case of get the gear out get the drone up and try and capture as much of this beautiful footage as possible I couldn't believe my luck although I thought that the sun was due to set somewhere in the region of the sea stack what I wasn't planning on was it setting exactly in between the mountains and the sea stack. Good morning everybody, it's day three and uh, I'm a wee bit lost, apparently there's something worth coming to see round about here but I've no idea what it is, something to do with an old man and a stair or a store. So what a night we had last night, the sunset was just exceptional, uh, it actually came down and set right behind the sea stack and some of the shots I'm hoping have turned out great. Apologies, there wasn't a lot of me talking about what I was doing in my composition last night. In fact, there was none. The hike was longer than I anticipated and the sun was setting really quick. So I tried to get as many good photos as I could and I also had to get the drone up and get that flying about. I hope you enjoy the footage, but I do believe that some of the best photographs that I've got out of the 48 hour trip were taken on that beach. Do you like my new bonnet, by the way? Do you like its color? I wonder what that matches. <laughs> 